There's a quiet revolution happening inside Samsung's flagship labs. One that's about to change how the next Galaxy Ultra feels in your hand, performs under pressure, and even handles heat. The Galaxy S26 Ultra might look familiar at first glance, but under that sleek exterior lies a massive shift that's shaking up the entire smartphone materials game. Hey everyone, Sam here. Welcome back. If you love staying ahead of the curve in the tech world, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with your fellow tech fans. Now, let's get into why Samsung's latest move could completely redefine what makes a phone ultra. So here's the twist. Samsung is stepping away from titanium and returning aluminum for the Galaxy S26 Ultra. Yep, you heard that right. After all the hype about titanium's luxury feel, Samsung's engineers have realized aluminum might actually be the smarter choice. The reason, titanium might sound premium, but it's heavy on both your hand and Samsung's wallet. Aluminium, on the other hand, offers better heat dissipation, keeps the phone lighter, and is far more cost efficient. In short, Samsung isn't downgrading, they're optimizing. Now, before you think this is all about cutting costs, here's where it gets interesting. Aluminium doesn't just save money, it helps performance. With the Galaxy S26 Ultra expected to house Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 for Galaxy, a powerhouse that can reach up to 0.74 GS, managing heat efficiently becomes crucial. Titanium, while sturdy, tends to trap heat. Aluminium releases it faster, which means smoother gaming sessions, better sustained performance, and fewer frame drops when you're pushing the phone to its limits. And there's a bigger picture here. Chip production costs are skyrocketing. Qualcomm and MediaTek reportedly saw wafer prices jump by nearly 24%, mainly because of TSMC's advanced 2 nanometer process. Samsung's own chipset expenses are climbing too, and that's before factoring in global tariffs and raw material surges. So by switching to aluminium, Samsung isn't just improving thermal management, they're protecting their profit margins and possibly ensuring the Galaxy S26 Ultra stays competitively priced. Interestingly, this move mirrors what other major brands have started doing lately, realizing that titanium's exclusivity doesn't always justify its practicality. Aluminium has evolved, especially when combined with advanced finishing techniques that make it look and feel ultra premium while staying more efficient to produce. But the material isn't the only headline. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is also making waves for its next gen display, and this is where Samsung might completely outshine its rivals. According to Fresh Leaks, the S26 Ultra will feature a brand new OLED panel built on Samsung Display's M14 material set. That's a big leap forward from the M13 tech used in the S24 and S25 series. The result, a thinner, brighter, and more durable display that's miles ahead in power efficiency. And the secret behind that brilliance is COE technology, color filter on thin film encapsulation. Now, that might sound like something straight out of a lab presentation, but it's genius in practice. Instead of using a traditional polarizer, Samsung replaces it with a special thin film color filter and a black pixel defined layer. The benefit, you get more light output, richer colors, better contrast, and reduced power consumption. Basically, the Galaxy S26 Ultra's screen won't just be brighter, it'll be smarter. To put it in perspective, Google's latest Pixel 10 Pro models are already pushing insane 3, 300 nit brightness levels. Samsung's next flagship could easily surpass that, not just by boosting peak brightness, but by maintaining clarity under direct sunlight while consuming less battery. And since COE panels have already proven themselves in Samsung's foldables like the Galaxy Z Fold 7, bringing that innovation to a flat, non-foldable display means you're looking at the most refined ultra display ever made. But that's not all. Leaks hint that only the Galaxy S26 Ultra will get the full M14 plus COE combo, while the S26 Pro and S26 Edge will stick to M13 panels. That's Samsung's way of making sure the ultra stands on a pedestal, not just the best in the lineup, but the best on the market. And honestly, if you've ever seen how Samsung's display team works, that makes total sense. They're not competing with others anymore, they're competing with themselves. Another small but fascinating detail is the return of that polished aluminum frame. The finish is reportedly smoother, more resistant to fingerprints, and perfectly blends into the matte back glass. One of the leaked color options, a stunning cosmic orange, is already turning heads online. It's bold, fresh and gives off that perfect balance of confidence and class. The matte texture improves grip and complements the seamless camera ring design, giving the phone a futuristic but elegant vibe that really stands out. 
Of course, aluminium isn't flawless. It's slightly softer than titanium, meaning potential scratches might appear more easily, though Samsung's improved coatings are designed to fix that. On the flip side, it performs better under drop stress and won't dent as sharply as titanium would. And honestly, for most users, that's a win. Then there's Samsung's ongoing work with the Exynos 2600s, their first two nanometer chip based on GA technology. If this chip truly lives up to the hype, Samsung could finally deliver a Galaxy Ultra powered by its own silicon in select regions again. Early test results are already looking solid, and if the efficiency holds up, that combined with aluminium's thermal benefits could create one of the most balanced flagships Samsung's ever built. So when you add it all up, a redesigned aluminium frame, a next-level M14 OLED display with COE tech, a new Exynos era possibly in the works, and the ever-powerful Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, the Galaxy S26 Ultra starts looking less like a yearly refresh and more like a strategic masterpiece, a phone that's leaner, cooler, brighter, and smarter. The closer we get to the official reveal, the more it's clear. This isn't just another Ultra. It's Samsung's message that refinement can be revolutionary, and if the leaks hold true, the S26 Ultra could very well become the gold standard that even future flagships are measured against. So, aluminium or titanium, which one do you prefer for your dream flagship? Drop your pick in the comments, and let's see where the tech tribe stands. Thanks for watching till the end. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay tuned, stay curious, and keep loving tech.